This is the story of how we change patient care experience in our trust. We are Humble Teaching NHS Foundation Trust. We provide a broad range of community and inpatient mental health services. Community services and learning disability services. Healthier lifestyle support and addiction services. To the 600,000 people living in Hull and the East Riding of Yorkshire. Hello, my name is Michelle Moran. I'm Chief Executive of Humber Teaching NHS Foundation Trust. I've been with the organisation now for about two and a half years and when I arrived we were doing patient service user and care engagement but it was, it was quite bitter, it was in pockets across the organisation so that's why I commissioned getting a very senior person but, but a charismatic person to lead that patient agenda. Hello, I'm Mandy Dorley, I'm Head of Patient and Care Experience and Engagement. Um, I took on my role two years ago, absolutely excited about the challenge of helping patients, carers, service users to voice their opinions about their real lived experiences in receipt of our care. The first step was to develop a Staff Champions of Patient Experience Forum so we could bring staff together from all teams across the Trust to share best practice and learn from each other. We were overwhelmed by the number of staff from clinical and corporate services that came on board from a very early stage in our patient and care experience journey. It didn't take long for us to fill a room and end up having to move rooms because it was standing room only and we knew that this was an agenda for the Trust that was really working and staff were really, really engaged. Following on from that, we then um, started our Patient and Care Experience Champion Forum and we have some of our service areas very well represented. Some of our services aren't as engaged as others, so we do have some work to do and that is a challenge. However, we are really seeing the agenda being embraced. Hi, I'm Lorna, I'm the Senior Patient and Care Experience Coordinator for the Trust. I started working with Mandy around two years ago uh, when she first came Hello. into her role. That sounds like a plan. Today we're holding a workshop to identify the actions for the next two years of our patient and care experience strategy. Some of you may remember the original patient and carer experience event back in 2018. How many people were in the room that day? Hi, my name is John Byrne. I'm the medical director here at Humber Teaching NHS Foundation Trust. You've got year one, so you've got your reflection on what we've been doing. For me this is just slightly different to the day job, it really is an opportunity to sit and listen, to have conversations and to just try and understand different perspectives about how we as a large organisation go about delivering care um, and actually it's a real opportunity to sort of hear the alternative voice and say actually just let's do something different because it makes more sense. My name's Tom, um, patient care experience champion working with Cypher. So for myself personally, is in regards to sort of what I'm getting out of it, it is that sort of um, feeling of being part of a bigger picture, really. Getting involved with certain policies, you know, how things should be done. You definitely do have that, well, me personally feel that I do have that sort of extra purpose and, you know, my voice is heard. What makes me feel proud about the work that we've done with our champions so far is that they really help us embed the work that we do. Without them, we would not be able to fully engage with the whole organisation. We're a really small team, so they're our shining stars. And having such a wonderful group of people on board, both staff, patients and carers, really makes me feel proud. I'm Gail Bradbury. I'm Family Therapy and Interventions Lead in Adult Mental Health Services. We've seen a big change in a staff attitudes to working with families. So going from seeing it as an, a kind of additional luxury to something that's absolutely essential and central to providing patient care. The organisation is starting to see a cultural change around patient and carer experience. We're starting to see some service areas looking at patient and care experience as an integral part of their day-to-day -day operational delivery within their services. It takes a long time to change the culture. You need to be persistent, 
and it requires teamwork and it requires leadership. And it's not something that you can change by just having a set of action plans or even a strategy for that matter. Lorna and I will know when patient experience and care experience is embedded across the organisation as a full cultural change when every team service area is discussing patient and care experience on team meeting agendas, they're listening to the feedback and actively making changes on the back of what they're hearing and sharing best practice.